how's it going everybody? Burnt Brian here and tonight I've got a hot sauce review for you. My friend Dominic Sorensen over at Scoville Farm sent me out three of his sauces. Uh, from what I understand it is the same great flavor in all sauces. It just gets progressively hotter as you go through the scale so it's a mild, medium, and a hot. Um, I think today what I'm going to do is go with the hot sauce uh, you know, for all of you chili fanatics out there. Um, and I will try to be coming up with, from what I understand, the sauce is very versatile. So it's good in marinades, glazes, all sorts of different dishes. So I'm really looking forward to tasting it so I can start cracking on ideas, things, um, you know, something that I can come up with for a good cooking video for you guys, teach you how to cook something using this uh, very versatile sauce. Um, but uh, let's see on the side here, it is all natural ingredients. I really like that, of course, with any sauce. And it says, forget hot sauce, forget salsa, get ready for everyday sweet habanero sauce. Enjoy as is or add this specialty sauce to nearly any recipe for a uniquely addicting boost a sweet and spicy habanero flavor that won't overwhelm. Whether dipping or dripping, glazing or braising, use every day to make food better every day. Very cool. I, I really like how uh, they structured all of the, uh, the uh, words there. That was very nice. Um, <clears throat> And uh, let's see, on the bottle there's a recipe for a cream cheese spread, so that's very cool. Uh, let me show you this real quick. This is the uh, bottle and label here. And if you look at the ingredients, you can see lots of chunks. Carrots, garlic, onion in there. So ingredients are sugar, carrots, cider vinegar, onions, fruit pectin, habanero peppers, garlic, and salt. Uh, again, this sauce comes from Grand Rapids, Michigan, so thank you so much for sending it out. It's got a batch number written on it. Uh, this is number 316,835. That's awesome. I really like the uh, personalized touch that they do with the bottles. Again, all natural ingredients. The sodium is only 25 milligrams. I think that's phenomenal. So I've um, definitely been looking forward to trying this. Um, says flavors, our goal, peppers, our passion. So awesome. Let's uh, crack this open here. If I'm... There we go. Love the pop. Again, it's got some good fluidity. This is a, another sauce that um, really combines a, a runny sauce with a lot of chunkiness to it. So I, I do enjoy that. Of course, when you stir it up a little bit, you mix some of that top layer in. But uh, as you can see here, this is the consistency you got. It's very nice. I like it. The smell is wonderful. Coming out of it, you get that really strong smell of the uh, the sugar, the, the cider vinegars coming through. You definitely can pick up on the uh, little bit of a bite from the habaneros, but I really like the combination of the carrots, onions, garlic. Very simple, um, but very aromatic. So yeah, let's give this one a taste. Looking forward to this. I'll get a little more on there. There we go. And down the hatch. Mm. Wow. Great burst of flavor. And it's got quite a bite from that habanero. Um, it's a slow creeping hit. It's going around the roof of the mouth. Um, but it's not overwhelming. Again, this is a habanero sauce. And habaneros can get very hot, especially the more you add in, the hotter the sauce is going to get. But this is delicious. I can really see why uh, they say this is a versatile sauce. There's a lot of things I could come up with this. Again, uh, for me, I'm seeing a lot of chicken ideas. It would be great for glazing some chicken. Mm, wonderful ingredients in this. don't have anything special to try it with right now, but I figured a, a Totino's, I mean, sorry, a Tostino's chip would be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's really good by itself. Like I say, it's like a salsa. Um, a lot of applications for this. I really look forward to uh, experimenting with this and coming up with some good uh, recipes to share with you guys. Great flavor. Again, I really don't do scales as far as heat and flavor goes because everyone's uh, idea of taste and, and heat all vary to different degrees. Uh, I have a pretty high tolerance. If my tolerance was a little lower, uh, it would be easier for me to describe to, to the lower people 
uh, just how hot it is. But I, I think this is um, this is a, a good sauce for just about anybody. The heat again isn't overbearing. It's got just a nice hard bite to it. Again, the lips are still burning a little bit. Wonderful sauce. Thank you so much for sending those, Dominic. I appreciate it so much. Um, I've got a lot of great videos coming up, guys. If you have any suggestions, you can always throw them down here on Facebook in the comment box. Or be sure to join me on Facebook and uh, you can send any suggestions or comments you got there. I love interacting with all of you. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot. And uh, I've got a lot of good stuff coming up, so stay tuned. And as always, stay toasty, my friends.